showing my special one-of-a-kind space ball to the others. I rule a pretty good game of space ball too, you know. <laughs> so do I. It would be great to see which one of us is the best. Oh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a place where we can see which one of us rolls the best game of space ball. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> the Halloween planet. That would be okay if we wanted to roll pumpkins, but not space balls. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the bouncy ball planet. But we don't want to bounce balls. We want to roll them. Mm -mm. Now that looks like just the place. Yes, the space ball planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Baseball planet. Trying to make trouble. You should go play in the ballroom with the little kids. Well, I say we can roll more than you. Wanna bet? Sure! <gasps> what are you getting us into, Orbit? How's he gonna beat us? He may have a big mouth, but that robot doesn't have any arms. <laughs> Orbit's right. We can't lose. Okay, the team that rolls the most strikes wins. But if you don't beat me, you have to give me that spiffy looking space ball. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> deal! <laughs> we can still do this, right team? Right! Right! I've never played space ball before. Huh? Don't worry. It's all about throwing angles in ball speed and spin factors. I'm really good at math. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm calling a practice round. <laughs> Not that I need it, but just to show you what you're up against. Ah! <laughs> Practice all you want. It's not gonna make a difference. Don't listen to him. Give it a try. Wait a minute. You'll never knock the pins down that way. Try it like this. <sighs> but that looks like an excellent throwing angle, Emma. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha! This 
this is going to be easier than I thought. I still need to figure out the ball speed and the spin factor. Okay, TK, maybe try it this way. <laughs> okay, here goes with Emma's throwing angle and your ball speed. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I get it! Your plan <laughs> is to make me laugh so hard I won't be able to <laughs> roll a ball straight! <laughs> Try it not so fancy, TK. Nice and easy, like this. See how the spin factor makes it all work. It's game time. Say goodbye to your special ball. We can do this, right, team? Right. Right. throwing angle, orbit's ball speed, and Rob's spin factor. Just remember what we showed you. I can't do it your way. I have to try it my way. Go for it, TK. We're cheering for you. Right, gang? Right! <laughs> Just try to ignore the honky. together, we didn't lose. Whatever. Say goodbye to your special ball, buddy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Sorry I said what I did and tried to cheat. You're all good space ballers. Especially you, little Red. You earned this. <gasps> My very own space ball. Thanks. <laughs> I'd say it's mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we went to this baseball planet to see who was the best player. Only we met a bull bot who bet we couldn't beat him. TK had never played before, so we tried to show her. Even though she wasn't doing very well, she believed she could do it. And thanks to her, we had learned that we should always trust others to do their best. Well done! I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up! Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Spaceball Planet! celebrates friendship. Oh, oh, it's my turn, it's my turn! <laughs> <laughs> Emma's cousin Mia sent us presents. Orbit hasn't opened his yet. Come on! I bet you it's a ping pong table. No, a circus monkey! <gasps> a giant robot ninja! Or maybe it's the world's smallest ping pong playing ninja monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Ooh, that's an ice hockey puck. Oh, but how am I supposed to play with this? There's no ice on the rocket ship. Uh, hmm, Orbit has a point. I don't have a place to play with my snowboard either. Wait a minute. All of these gifts are things you play with in the snow. What a perfect way to spend Cosmic Day together. That sounds like a mission. <laughs> it sure does. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Control? Oh, hello everyone. Wait, what day is it? Did I miss Cosmic Day? No, it's today. And we want to find a place where we can celebrate it by playing together in the snow. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, ice yeah. cream planet? Close, but the only snow we'd find there would be in snow cones. A magic planet. Hmm. Cosmic Day is magical, but not cold enough for snow or ice. Oh, now that looks like the place to go. <laughs> yes, the winter planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
should just stay inside the rocket. Someone else might send us more presents. <laughs> oh, look at this. Huh? What's so great about an old sled? <laughs> Let me show you. Huh? <laughs> um... Hold on to your gears. <laughs> That's my sled. <laughs> Look how fast we're going. Too fast. Look out. Are you two okay? Oh, we're okay. Hey. Where did all these snowballs come from? Maybe it was the abominable snowman. What's abominable mean? <laughs> abominable means very unpleasant. Oh, Orbit, I'm kidding. There's no such thing as an abominable snowman. <laughs> come on, let's play snowball tag. Everybody run! <laughs> You broke my sled, then took all of my favorite snowballs. I was just trying to get them back. Oh, we're... Oh, we're sorry, Mr. Snowman. Fred. My name is Fred. Is there some way we can make it up to you, Fred? Hmm. Hey, maybe you'd like to play hockey with us. It's an awesome game to play with friends. That was so much fun. 
you to have my snowboard. I'm sorry for breaking your sled. And you can have my abominable snowman. He'll help keep you company. Oh, oh, you can have my hat to help keep you warm. And if you wouldn't mind holding on to my puck, it's my new favorite toy. But you can play with it until we come back. Thank you all so much. And thank you for making this the best Cosmic Day ever. I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's cousin Mia sent us presents for Cosmic Day. They were all meant for playing with in the snow. So we went to the Winter Planet to have some holiday fun. Orbit wasn't very happy with his gift, so we tried to show him that you can still have fun without fancy presents. But things didn't start off so well, and Orbit wasn't convinced. Not until we met a lonely snowman named Fred. And even better, he helped us to remember what Cosmic Day was all about. Celebrating friendship. A happy Cosmic Day for everyone. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Bye. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Fred! Goodbye, Winter Planet! The robot! Hi, everyone! You're just in time! We're testing Squeak Sniffer. Oh, we had a piece of yummy cheesecake to see if he could sniff it out. His nose just knows. Sounds like he found it. <laughs> he did. Good work, Squeak. Whoa! Uh -oh. What's that noise mean? It means our ship's getting low on fuel. Fuel is what gives our rocket the power to go. Like food gives us the power to run and jump and do everything. Right? Right, Emma. I'd say cheesecake is what powers Squeak. Look at him go! What powers the rocket? We need to find geyser gas, rocket rocks, and solar seeds. Mixed together, they make rocket power. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can find fuel for the rocket. That's a very important mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The planet! You know, my greasy gears could use a good scrubbing. That might be true. But first, we need to find fuel for the rocket. Hello, planet! Yeah. Sorry, but nap time will have to wait till after our mission. Power planet! I'm sure we can find rocket fuel there. Yes, power planet! Perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
stop our planet. Don't worry, Rocket. We'll get you more fuel just as soon as we can. Okay, we need two solar seeds from a solar flower, one rocket rock with rocket power, geyser gas from the ground below, put them together and the rocket will go, go, go. Right, we'll find them faster if we split up. And if we use our senses. You mean like seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, and tasting? Yes. Pop's right. For example, a solar flower smells sweet. Ooh, I'll find one. Huh? Mm -hmm. Want to help me sniff out a sweet-smelling solar flower squeak? <laughs> then let's go. <laughs> I think you should get the rocket rock, Rob. Sure. Uh, but why me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> now I know why. One rocket rock coming up. We'll get the geyser gas orbit. Uh, gas is usually stinky, so we can use our sense of smell to find it, right? Nope. Mm. Geyser gas has no smell. <laughs> Did you hear that? Come on. Uh. Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's geyser gas, all right. We can't smell it, but we can hear and see it. <laughs> this is going to be easy. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late again. So easy. Don't worry, we'll put Plan B into operation. As soon as we can think of a Plan B, that is. Hmm. Do you smell a solar flower? Oh, where did those rascally rocks go? I can't see them anywhere. But I sure can hear them. Gotcha! Hey! hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Rocket rocks are rocket fast. They must be full of energy. So, you want to play, huh? Way to go, Squeak! You did it! <laughs> I mean, your nose did it. Hmm, I can see the solar seeds, but how will we get them from way up there? Good idea! Okay, hop up. from a solar flower. Whoa! <laughs> I can feel the energy inside them. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Squeak. I was so excited, I almost forgot you. Oh, I wish those geysers weren't so noisy. I can't think. Noisy? That's it! The geysers make a noise before the gas gushes out. So we just have to listen for the pop, pop, popping. <laughs> that one! <laughs> you were right! <laughs> Over there! That one!
put the fuel in now? Because the gas, the seeds, and the rock all have to go in at the same time. Then I sure hope Rob and Emma get here soon. Is this soon enough for you? Rob, you got a rocket rock. Yeah, or maybe it's got me. Whoa! Oh, but where are Emma and Squeak? Here we are. With two solar seeds full of solar energy, just like you asked. All thanks to Squeak and his super duper smell sniffer. Ooh. Quick, put the rock and the seeds in this tank. <laughs> now wait here while I fill her up. It's okay, Rocket. Tiki will have wall powered up in no time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> Rocket's back to full power. And that means mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the power planet to get fuel to fill the rocket's tank. TK and Orbit had to get gas from a geyser, so they used their sense of hearing to guess which one would erupt next. Squeak used his sense of smell to help Emma find some solar seeds. So we learned that our senses can help in lots of different ways. And we all got the power our rocket needed. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. To buckle up, five! <laughs>